hey libra what's happening hope you guys are all doing well this is ashley from serendipity tarot and we're coming with a general tarot reading for libra all right so libra this is for you sun moon rising venus placements you also could be dealing with a libra okay we're gonna see what's going on for you guys in love please do um like share comment subscribe if it resonates for you if it hits home okay so let's jump right in let's see what messages we have libra libra in love what's going on this week of may 2022 for libras in love what do they need to know any all messages for their highest and greatest good all right let's start off with the challenge you guys could be facing regarding your love life all right, Libra, the biggest challenge you're facing is the page of rods. There is someone here. I'm getting a fire sign. Leo, Sag, Aries, that is pulling away from this connection. I feel like this is someone that's been um, not showing you as much interest lately. Maybe there was some kind of message or communication that came through. And I feel this is someone that's kind of giving up. They're not putting in much effort. They're not desiring this connection anymore, or it feels as if they don't. So um, I feel someone is slipping away from you, okay? It's like they're not trying anymore. They're not putting any effort. They're kind of um, slowly retracting their energy from you. Um, and this could be you, Libra, right? Maybe you're, you're moving back <laughs> and away from someone else. Maybe there's someone in particular in your life that you're feeling, well, maybe is it even worth it, you know? And you're slowly losing passion and drive and passion for them right wands is passion so give me the recent past in the past someone was heartbroken okay three of swords came out in a verse of ten of cups and a page of swords so in the past it does look like um maybe this is someone here that you communicated with maybe you found out something um page of swords could be information it could be some kind of communication coming to you right and what it looks like is that it caused a lot of hurt or someone is actively still healing from some kind of hurt breakup okay betrayal even right maybe some of you guys you found out something and it brought forth or felt like a betrayal i feel like it challenged or it put a uh, a wrench in this ten of cups energy okay so this is someone that maybe at one point you saw happiness with you saw them as someone you can be very happy and fulfilled live a beautiful life with and i feel like what has happened is that perhaps um you see this person differently um you're communicating with them differently for some of you guys it's more of a casual connection now maybe you just kind of say hi and bye or hey how you doing that's it something has changed in that dynamic between you and them because of the three of swords okay so i also feel again the page of wands in verse someone isn't trying anymore someone isn't reaching out to you anymore um they're not taking much action towards you or putting in much effort and it could be related to the three of swords some kind of ending betrayal or separation now the current energy libra is the five of swords the knight of pentacles and the queen of wands queen of wands <laughs> wands in reverse okay it looks to me for some of you guys there could have been a third party getting or interfering in this connection the queen of wands if i'm not doing a fire sign reading it could be the other person the third party now, uh, there could be a lot of conflict regarding this third party, especially if, you know, it, it is a third party. The five of swords can also be just conflict, right? Fighting, arguing, not getting along, feeling defeated, kind of throwing your hands in the air and saying, forget about it. So Libra, the current energy, it does look like there's something that's very, very... And I almost feel like this is a little bit of a past, but I feel like this is something that you're actively still going through. And I think that Libra, um, it's like you and this person may have stopped uh, communicating or even um, interacting as much. Because the Knight of Pentacles, I almost feel like there's something here where you guys are slowly trying to rebuild the connection. But it's kind of like, I don't want to jump into it. I don't want to take uh, action too quickly or you know what i mean there's, there's a lot of hesitation and a lot of cautious energy with the knight of pentacles it's the slowest moving knight of the tarot deck so whoever this is libra i feel like there's a slow rebuilding of the connection but you know i feel 
you both are very cautious and with the five of swords in verse i do feel like whatever's happened you guys have gotten through the worst to a point where you guys are working towards some kind of resolution right the five of swords in verse is resolution no longer in this place of conflict so that's why i feel there's something in the past that may have happened and it's still kind of lingering in the energy and it's very much affecting the way that you portray this connection the way you show up and the way that you act as well as them so give me the energy for you libra the energy for you is the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Um, I do feel your eye is on the prize, Ace of Pentacles. You are looking toward a new beginning, something very secure, grounded. You may want a new opportunity to come through with this person. Maybe you want a new um, a relationship, a commitment. There's something um, regarding stability. That is on your mind. Now, the Page of Pentacles is telling me, Libra, you're not willing to give us so much. It's almost, it's, uh, it's giving me the vibes that you want this person to show what they're willing to give first. It's kind of like, I'll show you um, what I have to offer after you show me what you have in your hand, right? So, Libra, I feel like there's a, there's someone in your life that obviously you seek some kind of higher level commitment with. You want to be um, in their life. You want them to be in yours. However, it's like you've done enough. And with the Page of Pentacles, you're only willing to give but so much, okay, until this person shows that they're deserving of it. So give me the energy of what's in the foundation. Oops. Seven of Pentacles came out. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. We have the Four of Cups and the Seven of Wands in reverse. So without a doubt, you definitely have someone who wants to make a love offer, right? The Knight of Cups, they're thinking about it. They have this cup in their hand, but they haven't presented it to you just yet. They're thinking about it long and hard, right? The Knight, uh, I'm sorry, the Seven of Pentacles, the energy of reflecting and thinking, like, I want to invest. I want to give them my cup, but would it be worthwhile, right? What would it lead to? The Seven of Pentacles is thinking long term. If I put in X, Y, and Z, my time, my energy, my love, what will I get in the end? And that's what this person's thinking about. But not only that, this person is, is extremely guarded toward you. They feel like maybe you're guarded toward them as well, which could be why they're kind of acting this way and has hesitant to offer you their cup but there's a few things going on this person wants to wait something out i feel the seven of wands and verse is telling me this person actually wants to drop their guards they want to let you in they want to offer you the love um and so the seven of wands they can be very hesitant again that cautious energy i also feel another part of it why this person hasn't offered their cup just yet is because well libra this person thinks that you're going to reject them there's a feeling of if i present this offer libra is going to turn around and take that cup and dump it out <laughs> you know what i mean this is someone who feels Libra like you don't want that cup like you're not interested you're not even looking at it so give me the um energy of what can happen in the outcome what is the likely outcome for Libra in this person king of rods in reverse the three of pentacles and the temperance timing okay Sagittarius energy divine timing someone is like I don't got the time um Libra you could be done with the fire sign now, the good thing is that I do see some kind of opportunity where there is rebuilding of this connection, of some kind of partnership. So it looks like there could be an opportunity where you guys can, you know, get on the same page with regard to what you want, what you're looking for. Um, I'm getting joining of like minds with the Three of Pentacles. That's the energy, uh, joining of like minds. So if there's been a lot of differences, not getting along, not seeing eye to eye, I feel like there is an opportunity where you guys are gonna be able to interconnect or connect better. Um, but but the temperance isn't verse, so it's it's not going to happen overnight. And I think part of it is because someone's unwillingness to put in the uh, the effort that's needed to really push this forward. So again, the biggest challenge: page of rods, and then we have the king of rods in reverse in the outcome. It's all about effort, okay? If you put in more, you're going to get more in the end. And I think that that's something you and this person have to realize, right? If neither one of you guys are going to act on this connection, then nothing's going to happen. It's going to stay put and it's going to be stagnant and still, right? So let's jump right in. Let's get some clarity for you guys. Libra, if this is your reading, like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right. Messages for Libra. Clear, concise, accurate messages for Libra. All right, let's start off with the page of rods and the verse. Page of rods and the verse. Give me the juice on the page of rods. Lack of effort, right? 
This could also be someone that's not very confident. We have the Six of Pentacles clarifying the Page of Rods. So I feel like, you know, some of you guys, the biggest challenge is to determine... Can this be a relationship that can go back to being maybe fair and reciprocated? Maybe something has been like one-sided and um, uh, unbalanced for a really long time. Some of you guys are questioning if someone even has the ability to give you what they, um, what they should and what you need from them. Because you've been used to maybe such a one-sided situation where someone hasn't been putting in the effort. So the biggest challenge, Six of Pentacles, can this be uh, reciprocated? Can this be a reciprocated, fair, um, equally operating relationship? right so give me the, in the past give me the energy of the three of swords ace of pentacles and the moon so someone here definitely sabotaged this relationship i'm getting straight sabotage because we have secrets we have the moon here and it talks about secrets things that are hidden the unknown illusions insecurities fears whatever it is and that got in the way of um this new beginning ace of pentacles i feel like you guys were on a way to something very promising secure maybe a higher level commitment maybe you guys were engaged and i feel like you guys were both thinking the same thing we're gonna do this together we're gonna build a very beautiful empire we're going to be a power couple we're going to there was some form of stability here you guys are working toward but i feel the moon and this could be again someone's insecurities or fears got in the way of that someone's secrets got in the way of that maybe there was an exposure of the truth because the page of swords this is the energy of spying investigating finding out and i feel for some of you guys you may have found out something that you weren't supposed to find out the lovers and the eight of cups and it looks like whatever you may have found out and this could be you know something you found out through this person or through the grapevine on social media maybe there was something that leaked of getting exposure ultimately someone walked away okay maybe someone walked away because they didn't know what to say or or they didn't want to address the situation but someone walked away and then came right back i'm getting the energy of literally walking walking away and making a u-turn and coming right back so there could be someone who walked away from the connection because just the pressure of whatever happened um but then i feel the lover's card is indicating that this was really strong and even though this person walked away they never really forgot about how incredibly the connection was like you know this is uh the lover's card so um this could be a gemini in your life i feel the lovers are indicating maybe you had to make a decision regarding this are you going to let this person in right what are you going to do after this person walks away so give me the five of swords i feel someone has a really difficult time in resolving conflict maybe they don't know how to um i'm getting it's a learned skill <laughs> conflict resolution four of pentacles and eight of pentacles in verse i feel like instead of resolving an issue someone closes off someone closes off someone like is extremely guarded they hold back they push the other person away and it makes matters worse and what it looks like libra is that this person isn't interested right the eight of pentacles in verse when this person closes off and pushes you away it makes you feel like oh they must not want me oh they're not really serious about the connection oh they're not really invested they don't want to save it and it's not true this person just has a tendency to run away or just um you know the four of pentacles close off not not let people in now for a select few of you guys who are dealing with a queen of wands which could be your person or it could be a third party what's this queen of wands about the judgment and the ten of pentacles in a verse i feel like libra someone is realizing that if they were dealing with a third party there's really no stability there in fact they could have learned it the hard way because i see a big decision being made with the judgment and it's going to bring some kind of finality or financial finality uh finality or i didn't mean financial finality or some kind of final final decisions being made regarding that person that connection because ultimately it's getting in the way of this person getting the ten of pentacles with you and so this person may be moving very slow and making some kind of big decision regarding a third party but i do see that being made okay now give me the nine of pentacles what is this very cautious energy here yeah, I feel someone is in conflict, whether they should be moving toward the other person. And I really think it comes down to, oh, is does Libra want the same thing, right? Because Libra, you could be thinking the same way. I want to offer this to this person, but I don't want to give too much because I don't want to have to be the only one that's offering something. You know what I mean? There's the energy of, oh, are they going to offer if I offer this? You know what I mean? Like, what do they have in their hand? So give me the energy for Libra. Ace of Pentacles, you obviously want a new beginning, a new opportunity with them, but you're coming in with this Page of Pentacles energy very bare minimum and you know it really comes down to like 
passion, desire, effort, right? You know, we have the Page of Pentacles in the verse and the Page of Wands. I see that you are inspired to move in this new direction with them, but I also feel like, again, there's the energy of being a little bit, um, you know, holding back, withholding of, of your time, your energy, effort, withholding of your pentacle because you want to make sure this person is really in it for the right reasons too or they're really in it for the long term. Pentacles is about the long term, right? So give me the energy, of this person what are they thinking about there's a lot of thinking going on reflecting i do think it has to deal with their cup the knight of cups came out yeah the ten of cups and the king of rods in a verse this is someone that may not be very confident right now but clearly they're not happy where they are they're very unhappy and ten of cups in verse they're not satisfied they could be maybe a family or home situation here I think this person realizes that their actions are have gotten themselves in the situation that they are in right now. King of Rods in the verse is the energy of, you know, someone not showing up for you the way they should, not making the right decisions, maybe being wishy-washy, being inconsistent, or maybe even selfish. And I feel like those are the things that this person was. And I'm seeing the energy of them now thinking about this and now maybe realizing that they are the, they are the cause of why things are right now with you and them. Now, they do want to offer for love because they do obviously see happiness with you with the ten of cups but um they feel like you're going to reject them four of cups is here some of you guys they think you're going to reject them because they think you're dealing with someone else some of you they think that you literally moved on you have someone else in your life we have the king of rods and the king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn leo sag aries you could be dealing with one of those people i mentioned there is also energy of, I don't want to compete. I don't want to fight for Libra or fight this other person for Libra. Um, someone just wants to play it off cool. That's what I'm seeing here. So if you're dealing with someone Libra, your person is uh, hesitant to come in. Seven of Rods in the verse, they do want to drop their guards because they do think that you're worth it. Seven of Pentacles, they do think you're worth it. You're worth the investment. You're worth, um, you know, spending money on. You're worth being with. You, you're worth it, right? You're worth it. So I think this person obviously wants you back. Um, give me the energy of what's in the outcome. King of Rods came out again. So again, this is someone who's not very confident. Three of Pentacles is here. So it is giving me indication that there is some kind of opportunity where you and this person will get along and get back on the same page. It's going to take a lot of hard work as we see the strength in the verse of the Ten of Wands. I feel like there is an opportunity for you guys to collaborate and even work on a partnership here. However, it's not going to be easy because there are some struggles here. The strength in the verse can require a lot of willpower, a lot of strength. Um, and the Ten of Wands is here as well. So there's a situation you're having to let go because it's burdening you, it's burdening the connection it's not good and i feel like you know there's also energy of accepting that something may have not worked out for a reason ten of rods and move past it um i also feel someone could be um holding back you know the strength and verse could be indicating of holding back restraining themselves from doing something and so you may need um to give this person more time three of cups and it could be related to third party maybe someone is unwilling to put an end to a third party right away the ten of rods and the three of cups communicating of putting off or procrastinating not taking action on ending a third party just yet but they will finally do it but the temperance is indicating of time they may need more time but again i do feel like you and this person will finally maybe rehash something out three of pentacles could be getting on the same page collaborating and seeing eye to eye regardless there's a lot of communication coming in the eight of wands is here as well so that's telling me that there will be some kind of movement and change progression eight of wands is some kind of finally things changing in some kind of new direction and it could be marked with a lot of communication going back and forth okay whether it's texting phone calling and whatnot so libra that is what i have for you guys i hope you enjoyed this reading like share comment and subscribe and i'll check you guys out later all right bye take care